Ah, uh, yes. Mega Man. We love him, we hate him, but the truth of the matter is, it's a franchise we grew up with, and we've been dying to know when is the newest game coming out? If they're making a new game, because it's been what? Six years since they make a new Mega Man game? And ever since then, it's been collections, it's been gotcha, and just merchandise. But Capcom says that, according to IGN, Capcom is still considering how to make Mega Man games on an ongoing basis. And it continues to say, at the beginning of the article, that has confirmed that Mega Man remains on one of the highly valued IPs. I read that, I'm like, you mean that as a cash cow? When you're desperate, you just put a collection and old fans come running and buy that? Or because you actually value the character, the one that helped build your company, and want to give love to it just as much as we, the fans, the community, would love to put some effort and quality into a Mega Man game? I read an article before that it just couldn't come up with anything because it needs no, no ideas. And I want to share a few that I've had in mind for a while. If you haven't known about me, my name is Brownie. I am an RPG enthusiast. I also love Mega Man, Kingdom Hearts, and a lot of RPGs. Action platformers, you name it. The root of this, by the way, this is a shirt. The Yeti, my favorite Mega Man, EXE. But yeah, I wanted to make this video because one, I don't believe in Capcom saying it's valuable as the same way we value Mega Man, more as like a cash cow, because that's how it killed the franchise in the first place 20 years ago, right? So many Mega Man games, no breathing room, and people, the market was tired of it, and it, and HD came out, and people were tired of the same thing, no breathing room. So, huh. so let me think. What would be good for the Mega Man franchise right now? Obviously, a lot of us would love a new Mega Man X game. It's been, what, close to 20 years since Mega Man X 8? And even though, quality-wise, Mega Man X 8 is really good, the damage X 7 did was too great, and a lot of people were not up for 8. Sadly, that discontinued the franchise. Mega Man Zero came and went. Peak Mega Man, by the way, 1 through 4. If you haven't played it, I suggest that Mega Man. ZX, eh, it's alright. Um, ZX Advent, it's okay. It also ended in a cliffhanger. Um, I don't know if Star Force ended. I know Mega Man Legends didn't end, that's for sure. But, the only Mega Man's that actually finish their story is Zero and Battle Network. One of my favorites, by the way. And I really appreciate those collections. Don't get me wrong, but I'm here thinking if we really need Mega Man to come back and stand in the same round as Street Fighter, as Devil May Cry, as Monster Hunter, Resident Evil, it needs something modern, but also something that keeps his roots, you know? Because the thing for Devil May Cry, it's, an, it's a character action game. Good combos, great for graphics, great music. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6, amazing game. They actually <laughs> revitalized the franchise because 5 wasn't that great at the beginning and ended well. Uh, Monster Hunter, same with Worlds, it revitalized the franchise with the simple things that made people that, who did not know about Monster Hunter come into this franchise. And the cinematics and stuff is... And don't get me started on Wild. It, Wilds looks amazing. Cannot wait for that game. And Resident Evil? The shakeup was first person? And... But it's still kept the semi-horror, 
camp, well, semi horror. This is a horror game, but the campiness, the horror, the not bringing back some of the old characters on that's the remake, but the old characters come back as supporting cast. So Mega Man needs something like that, but what could work? Obviously, it needs to be a platformer first and foremost, because if it's not, then we would get a situation like that Project Mega Man game that was first person and a lot of people did not like. The Duke is on the deck below you. There isn't much time. Got it. And it ended up being cancelled. Uh, Mega Man Maker was in the works. I think it was called Mega Man Universe, but it also got canned. So what will be great? I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I imagine the fights in Zero and X, they're sort of like a fighting game, right? The, the HP bar your bar but you have more freedom you don't you're not locked in to this small stage and limited movement you can still move fast and freely as you should to me what it needs right now it's it needs to borrow some aspects of the other franchises i'll explain sometimes i've imagined my, a mega man game the boss fight specifically like character action the game it has the dodging, rewarding the dodging, rewarding the blocking, the combos, and parries. What if in the boss fights in Mega Man, it doesn't have to be X, it doesn't have to be ZX, or Mega Man, Classic Mega Man. Me classic Mega Man needs to say the same classic as in his name. X, I don't know, I do feel like X has story, more action-y, but I feel like incorporating a character action game to a Mega Man franchise would have to be a spin-off or maybe a reboot I don't know the last time they rebooted a Mega Man game was on the PSP powered up and Maverick Hunter X Maverick Hunter X was so good it had potential I was waiting for X to Maverick Hunter or whatever the subtitle would have but it didn't happen I really wish that game was ported to the PS2 same way Baxter got ported, the Jack game that a lot of people don't will not want to talk about also got ported. I don't know, maybe a reboot of X would be nice because the original X storyline should have ended in X5. I feel like a Mega Man character action game in the same level as Bayonetta, the same level as Revengeance, and the same level as Devil May Cry, but still being a platformer, I think that has to be repeated so much, and it needs to be a platformer mixed with character action stuff, because if not, then it, it'd be overshadowed by the other franchise that is known for this, and people question, why would they make a character action game of Mega Man when it's just... Mega Man is a platformer and this and that. I mean, it is tricky, but I feel like I it could work. I've envisioned it many times. I sometimes I when I play Bayonetta, I feel like this is X with this Buster moving around and Revengeance, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I sometimes feel like this would be Zero in a 3D environment, obviously with more platformer, but I don't know. That, that would be my first thing, my first idea. Like, try to dabble on character action game, uh, the character action franchise, but still, still being platformer. Okay, just off of being a platformer, or if it's true character actiony, then uh, you would lose some people. Another thing that the Mega Man franchise needs 
is... We got Mega Man 11, right? That's... The story doesn't have to be too deep. Doesn't have to be anything, but... I feel like a good writer, good director, producer, would be really good. Good writer, more than anything. As the producer for Mega Man 11, I think he's still around, but I don't, I don't know about if he's interested in making X or a new Mega Man game. I've also heard rumblings of a new <laughs> Mega Man Gacha game, which I hope it's not true. If it's a new Mega Man gotcha game, it will be more on the line of Battle Network and Star Force, which sounds cool, but again, the gotcha market is oversaturated right now. And making Mega Man, make another Ma Mega Man gotcha game, I, I don't think it would be really good in the long run for the franchise. So, good writer, character action, and if it does a new Mega Man, like that show, latest show, that, I do not consider that Mega Man, I'm sorry. That is just too far off. And since when has Mega Man become Sentai? Like, I don't think he's been Sentai ever. I think they started incorporating that in Battle Network with the Double Soul and all that, but that, and that was fine in Star Force, but... After that, with ZX, the Advent, sorry about the plan, by the way. I don't know, they slowly sh was shifting Mega Man into Super Sentai, which is weird. That's not the core thing. But I don't know, it, it, I think that will be the third point. Don't make it Sentai-like. Don't make it some person that transforms into Mega Man that is silly. We need the actual robot, actual android. Not a human who transforms and has this robot-like stuff. It has to be from the get-go. From the start. I don't know what other franchise it would, would be really good at. Strategy? I don't think so because Mega Man needs the movement. Platforming. Uh, I don't... Another genre that's oversaturated and the market's oversaturated is uh, roguelike um i would i know i know a lot of people would like this but the roguelike market i feel like it's stale right now and it's diving down slowly slowly diving down no one's really seen it yet, but I felt it that's just stale and just going downwards. Hades 2 is around, but I think Hades, Binding of Isaac, those are the kings of roguelikes and any other company that tries to do their spin on the, the roguelike thing is cool. But again, not everyone should do that. Like, we, are we going to get a Mario roguelike? Are we going to get a... Fire Ember roguelike? Like, like, no, don't do that. I've seen indie games that do the action platforming and they're inspired by Mega Man, and then I see that it's roguelike, and I'm just turned off by that, and I just do not care about it anymore. But that's just me. They could dabble in roguelike, uh, but I don't know. I feel like it would be like Dead Cells. Dead Cells is good, but again, the roguelike thing is just too repetitive right now. Uh, so. It needs to stay a platformer, but experiment on other genres, like character action. Break it like Bayonetta, Revengeance, uh, Astral Chain, that's another cool character action game. Uh, have a good writer, level designer. Don't try to make it Sentai like it, they've done recently in their newest games, and don't try to copy what's a genre is more popular right now. I know that's like counterintuitive because at the beginning I said it needs something modern, but I feel like it should copy some stuff that other franchises of the same building, of the same company, Capcom, and make it its own. I think that would be good, but making it like Mega Man Hades or Mega Man Fire Emblem, I don't know. Uh, it would start to drift off of its identity, and uh, nah. But yeah, I 
those are my ideas, and I've been rambling long enough. If you guys have any ideas, just put them in the comment section, because apparently Capcom's searching for ideas, and if anything clicks at, with anyone in the company or any of the fans, and I just hope they really keep its identity, keep it a platformer, and keep it robotic. Keep it sci-fi, please. But anyway, I bid you all farewell. Until the next video, hope you guys take care, have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, and later.